Ain't nothing better than watching you smile. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ain't nothing better than watching you laugh out loud, my baby. Ain't nothing better than watching you. Hi, Ms. Moody here. I hope everyone is staying safe. I can't say how much I miss you guys. I truly do. Um, this book I want to read, it's a little unusual. It's about the census. And I it drew my attention because I just got my census paperwork. So I was like, oh, this is cool. Let me just read this to you. I hope you enjoy it. Stay safe. Everyone Counts in the 2020 Census. Written by Holly Hartman. Read by Miss Moody. Have you tried to count to a really big number? Could you count to 300 million? Every 10 years, the United States tries to count every person. Since there are more than 300 million of us, it's a big job. Everyone needs to be counted from tiny babies to old people. This count is called the census and the 2020 is the year to get counted. Once we have counted everyone, we can plan how many schools, roads, and houses to build, and how much food we need to grow. Luckily, it is easy for every family to get counted. First, a letter comes home in the mail with a special number called a census ID. One person in the family types the number into the computer or calls the telephone to say how many people live in their home. Some people live in more than one home, so they get counted in the place they are living on April 1st, 2020. Some people don't have a computer or a telephone. They can get help at the library or community center or from a census worker. The United States is a big country with a lot of people and we get only get counted every 10 years. How big will the 2020 census number be? Will your family count? Ain't nothing better than watching you smile. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ain't nothing better than watching you laugh out loud, my baby. Ain't nothing better than watching you be you. Ain't nothing better than.